What up, y'all? It's your man, Abu American. Check this out. Got a news article here from Daily Mail. And remember what I said in my last video about just watch Daily Mail and see why guys don't want to commit anymore. So I'm going to read this article to you. And it's just really terrible. But there's been a lot of this going on lately. And this goes into the whole topic of cuckoldry. So, Jeremy Kyle Guest is left heartbroken by DNA bombshell after discovering the son he's raised for 32 years isn't his. Link will be in the description box. A father was left heartbroken after discovering the son he raised for 32 years isn't related to him. Oscar and his son, I'll say Oscar and the man he raised, Valentine, appeared on Jeremy Kyle after Valentine's mother said there was a chance for Oscar may not be his biological father. In a tense episode of the ITV program, Jeremy is seen saying to the two men, the DNA test results show that Oscar is not your biological father. It further says Oscar is seen wailing in despair as he says to Jeremy, he's not my son. Jeremy responds by saying there's an 8% chance he's your son, while Valentine remains speechless. Obviously because he doesn't want to say that his mom is a gutless, cutthroat, evil whore. Oscar paid for Valentine to come over to the United Kingdom from Nigeria and put him through school here in Britain. Later on in the show, Jeremy was seen comforting Oscar by saying being a dad isn't about being blood related. It takes a man to look after a kid. And then it goes on to just explain how viewers, you know, felt sorry for him and whatnot. But what bothers me equally as bad as this article is the response in the comment sections. And like, it's all women saying this stuff. Listen to this. Melissa Levine. While he may not be biologically related to you, he's still your son and you're still his father. Claudia. I don't know. Claudia actually had a, a reasonable response. She said, I hate when women are promiscuous and cheat on their partners. They just destroy their partner's life and the child's life by being unfaithful. It's sad to see this for a man. That's actually the most reasonable response I've seen from a woman on here. Another woman, Holly Jane Derberry. But relation doesn't make... a uh, a father being there for your child, providing for them, watching them, helping them grow, and developing into a young adult more makes them a father. As heartbreaking as the results may have been, the bond they have should be unbreakable. What a true gentleman. Um, Ashley, a woman. After 32 years, why bother with a DNA test? Blood related or not, that's still his son. Now, you know, we can go on with these comments, but here's the point of the comments in relation to the article. Let me cover that first, the comments, because we're going to go back into this article. Women, stop saying this stuff. That's not his son. It never will be. That is not his son. His son is biologic. That's a biological. It's a genetic legacy. It is not his son. It never will be. It's easy for you to say these type of things. Oh, he's still your son. There's an emotional bond. No. No. You can't be tricked in regards to the paternity of the child. That's easy for you to say because you're not the one who's been tricked. And you know you can never be tricked in regard to the paternity of the child. It's not about an emotional bond for men. It's about a genetic legacy. And he spent 32 years... 32 years that he could have been working on building his own genetic legacy with another woman who would be faithful or at least give him his genetic legacy from his loins and building that young man off to the next generation of who and what he is from the summation and the culmination of all of his ancestors into the next generation. And you make a comment like that as, it's a, as if it's just okay, as if it's just something simple to steal that from him, to steal that from his genetic legacy, both past and future. 32 years, how does this old man recover from this? He's got to go out and have a kid. How old is he now? Is he going to be able to raise him? He's obviously good at that because this kid ended up in college. This kid ended up as a success, but now he's an old man. His genetic line has been cut off, stolen. It's not something he agreed to. If he agreed to it, fine. We can mock him for that. But this was deception. It was stolen from it. It is not okay. This, 
Like I said in my last video, it's why men don't trust women. This is why they don't commit to you. And this is why I think DNA testing should be mandatory. I don't think this should be anything that's just a matter of, yeah, you want to do it, cool. Uh, you want to do it, not cool. No, I think it should be mandatory. And it should just be tacked on to the cost of having a baby like painkillers and and whatever else they charge you for when you have a kid in the hospital. And if you refuse to do a DNA test, then they should put down no father on the birth certificate of the child. Because this man's genetic legacy has been cut off unless he has a brother or a sister who has had children. His family line genetically ends. And he's invested all of his energy, all of his resources, all of his time into something that's not his. Where's the father? Where's the real father? You women, man. You, you know what? You women are disgusting. Really, you are. You're disgusting in this, this right here. This is why women are oppressed throughout the world. The West is an exclusive beacon of light for female freedom. And you're proving to be unworthy of that freedom. You are proving that you are worthy of being oppressed like they are in Saudi Arabia, if you want to call that oppression. Because when given free reign to run the streets like you do, this is what happens. You're a pathetic lot. Really, you are. I don't hate women. But this stuff right here, when you see that women do this, and this is a regular occurrence. This is just one article I found very, very saddening because this guy, how did he recover from that? I'm 44. I can still recover from it. But him, he's like older than me. How does he recover from that? It's just financially and everything that he, the investment he's made has just been too great. It's just too great for him to recover from in terms of genetics. Any kid he has from this point to try and fix this situation is going to do what? It's going to leave the kid without a father because he's not going to last too long. The guy's an old man. Anyway, I'm ranting. I wanted to get back into the article. No, actually, you know what? I've covered enough on the article. That's it, man. Let me just, you know, I don't hate women, but, but y'all make me understand why the world puts you in the position you, you, you're in and why they hold you under lock and key in most of the third world because they understand your nature. And it's bad. It's really bad. You're approving the West and its women. And wherever they're given absolute free reign and freedom, you're proving that you are not worthy of all the rights and all the goods and all the equality that you've demanded. Because when you get it, you do stuff like this. Keep going, though. Because the backlash, it will come. And when it happens, you'll have no one to blame but yourselves. You'll have no one to blame but the women that did this guy Oscar and Valentine in. Because how do you think that son feels on national TV? How does he face his mother? How does he face the people around him? What does that say about his mother? What she did to that man, the, the father. She's harmed multiple people, including herself. She's tarnished her family name, her family legacy, taken away another man's, stolen it unjustly. And the more you do this stuff, the bigger the backlash is going to come. And let me tell you something, women. When you defend that stuff and you make those stupid comments, oh, he's it's his son, blah, blah, blah. Men are like, like that new meme. Men think, I told you. Information analysis, synthesis. And they put it together in their head. We're not stupid. It stays in the back of their head there. And when the opportunity strikes to oppress you and put you back in a position where you can't run around and have free reign, what do you think is going to happen? And there's going to be a whole plethora of stories like this that's going to give them the excuse to do it. And if you don't think it can happen, you're crazy. Carry on, ladies. Carry on. Let me tell you something. There's a greater chance <clears throat> of your rights being revoked and you being put back into a, 
a kitchen or a corner, then there is a chance of me ending up as a slave again. And I don't write that off. But the chances are higher for you. Because the farkery you ladies get up to, you damage entire men, all of men. Our farkery as a race, black people, it usually harms us. Just us. And people are fine with that. But when you make your men despise you through your acts and through your statements, they're going to come for you. They'll come for you harder than they come for us. But carry on, ladies. You heard it here first. It's your man, Abu American. Catch me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All at Abu American. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.